The V200 is very easy to troubleshoot, even while mounted on a valve. Using one 0 to 30 PSI gauge mounted here on the side of the positioner, you can determine if the I2P is working correctly and determine if you need to replace it or if the pilot valve is dirty and needs to be either cleaned or replaced. Note that even with 4 to 20 milliamp feedback and switches installed, the I2P module and the pilot valve are easily accessible and replaceable. To determine if the I2P is operating properly, we're going to put 4 milliamp signal on the positioner and this gauge should read approximately 3 PSI. When we put 20 milliamp signal on the positioner, this gauge should read approximately 15 PSI. If we've got 3 PSI and 15 PSI at 4 and 20 milliamps, we know that the I2P is operating properly. If this signal gauge does not read correctly, then the I2P needs to be replaced. Nearly all failures are related to contaminated air. Most often, it's water and or oil in the air supply. If the I2P needs to be replaced, it's as simple as removing these two screws and lifting the I2P out. If feedback is installed, remember to unplug the potentiometer first and note whether or not the plug was sticker up or sticker down. If the I2P tests OK using the previous procedure, then the problem will be a contaminated pilot valve. Note there's a cutout here in the switch plate that allows access to the pilot valve screw. Simply loosen the screw and you'll be able to lift the pilot valve out to replace it. After removing the pilot valve, you can remove the stem from the body to ex examine it. If the gold plating is in good condition with no worn spots, clean the, the stem and the body using a good solvent like electrical contact cleaner. After it's clean, reinsert the stem into the valve body and it should move very, very freely. If there's any binding, the stem is bent and the pilot valve needs to be replaced. Note that the pilot valve should be clean and dry. No lubrication is required. Even small amounts of oil or contaminants will affect the performance. When replacing the pilot valve in the positioner, make sure the slot in the stem of the pilot valve slides down along the end of the balance arm here before securing it with the screw. We recommend that after replacement of the I2P or a pilot valve, that the zero of the positioner be confirmed. No additional calibration should be required. For more information, please contact Valve Accessories and Controls. And thank you.